Wisconsin casts its 10 electoral votes. In a winner-take-all state like Wisconsin, Joe Biden was awarded all 10 of the state's electoral votes after winning the state in a close yet decisive election. The process, longstanding and typically receiving little fanfare, was carried out in this ceremony with the governor at the Capitol. But on the same day, in a separate room in the Capitol, Wisconsin's 10 Republican electors met privately to sign their own certificate for Donald Trump, who lost. Now, more than a year after those meetings, federal investigators Investigators are reviewing those invalid documents. I'm glad to see that this is getting the attention and the serious scrutiny that it deserves at both the state and the federal level. A Madison-based law firm with ties to the Democratic Party pushed for an investigation nearly a year ago. Our democracy in Wisconsin and nationally really runs on the trust of the people and on our norms, on people following the law. Those Republican electors argued it was necessary to send their vote in case the state overturned the close election results. The Republican Party of Wisconsin told 12 News Wednesday the actions of the Republican electors were done in accordance with precedent and are consistent with what Democrats were urged to do by supporters. Democrats' efforts to drum up political theater over a simple procedure are nothing more than a desperate attempt to divert attention from their record as they face the electorate in 2022. Wisconsin Attorney General Josh Call told 12 News in a statement, I believe it's critical that the federal government fully investigates and prosecutes any unlawful actions in furtherance of any seditious conspiracy. And Courtney Sisk joins us now live. Courtney, did any Republican electors comment on the federal review? Well, Patrick, I reached out to several Republican electors who signed those documents. They have not responded. However, you can see the Republican Party's full statement on our website and on the 12 News mobile app right now. Courtney Sisk reporting live in Milwaukee.